And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Man, I remember summers jumping into the pool. Those days are long gone for me now because I live in Florida and it's the winters too. But Pool Party itself is a dexterity game from Blue Orange Games. And in this game, it's a dexterity game. Remember those little frogs and grasshoppers where you press the back of them and they would jump and land on something else? Well, that's how this is. You have to get them to jump into a pool, but the pool is going wobbling all over the place. Here's how it plays. Okay, so the way this works is you have this component here, which is basically a spring and this blue bowl, which is the swimming pool. So you can see it kind of maneuvers around like that. And then you're going to have nine jumping pieces here. And a, a piece, you're going to jump by basically putting your finger like that and letting it fly. So the youngest player is going to shout cannonball and everyone's going to start doing it at the same time. And the first person to get three people into the bowl is the winner. So we're going to demo it here for you real quickly. We need the youngest person to shout cannonball and we'll get going. All right, come on. What? <laughs> Did you see her knock the other person out? What a jerk. Oh, I'm in, kind of. Now, if it tips over at all, which it does occasionally. Come on. Yes. That's two up there. Well, then you got, when that happens, you got you to squeeze it like this and do it. There we go. Boom. I got three in, so you can see there's one, two, three. So when it happens, I basically get one, I win that round. And then the first person to win three rounds wins the game. All right, we'll try it again. Now, what we've noticed is that these things get less springy as time goes by, but it's easy enough to spring them up by basically just squishing them down a little bit like this. Okay, cannonball starts it. Cannonball! What? What? That definitely went in there. In and out. What? Upside down, flipping. That's two. I feel like I'm about to win right here. In. Ah! Did you just go in? Yeah. Is that three? <laughs> Mine went in and then he fell out. All right, and folks, that's how you play. The first person to win two, three rounds is the winner of the game. Okay, so the, the artwork on these is silly and fun. You can see there's a dog jumping in, and it's actually different for each one. I think one of them has a, has a cat. The green one has a cat. And these work pretty well, right? They're, they're very sturdy. What, the red one has a turtle? Yeah, okay. They're, they're fairly sturdy. Um, and we haven't broken any of them yet, um, and, but they, they jump, they're kind of like those little frog things that you have that you know, as a kid you make them jump. And so they jump pretty well, they stack, but this is the real genius of the game, this thing here, because, you know, as you're, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a baseball player. As things are falling into it, it's very easy to, for them to come out or to occasionally, so many will fall into it that the whole thing will just tip over and they'll fall out which is great fun for everybody involved. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So here's the thing about pool party or any game like this, it's a dexterity game, right? And that's a silly dexterity game for kids and or adults, but kind of aimed at kids. And this is like one of those. There's a lot of those out there. And yet this one here, I find really fun because of that spinning bowl in the middle. That's, that's interesting, it bounces back and forth. The things are fun to pop. They're not easy to pop, but after a while you get to learn how to do them. But they also don't fly across the room. See, when it comes to these games where you're throwing stuff in a bucket or making it flip into something else, what we found often is they jump too far, then on the floor, then people are scrambling around the floor. And that can be funny occasionally, but here they will hardly ever leave a table, which is great. You grab them, pull them back, flip them again, 
can. And even if you get the third one in the cup, as you can see, it can fall out. The whole cup can tilt, especially when you're playing with a full complement of four players, which is best. Then the whole thing is constantly shaking around and dumping stuff out. It is just hilarious fun. There's not a whole lot more to say about this, right? But I just want to point out those things. I think the theme works. I think the components are really cool. And I think that it has a an, an leg up on the competition in the sense that it has that spinning thing in the middle. And when you flick the stuff, it doesn't go off the table. So it's fast and easy and fun. Kids against adults, kids against kids. A great family game. Really like this one. Pool party. Dice Tower Judgment. Excellent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Shut the door.